and welcome back to my channel, to T's channel, where I teach you how to cook large meals for events and gatherings and birthdays or just for your household. So today we are making chicken fingers and we're going to do lemon pepper flavor. We're going to do barbecue and we're going to do regular chicken fingers. Now, this is the uh, lemon pepper that I used. Just any lemon pepper, it doesn't matter. These are my seasonings, of course. And then this is for the barbecue. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce or even better, if you know how to make barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness. So anyways, look, what I did was I took a little bit of my seasonings, just a slight little bit for the bar for the um, lemon pepper one, but I didn't want to season it too much because the main seasoning is lemon pepper. And then for the one for the barbecue, I lightly sprinkle, 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 you know how I sprinkle. And then because the barbecue sauce has salt in it, so you don't want to season that a lot. Now this one, which is just going to be the chicken fingers with this seasoning, I seasoned it up. So some people season your flour, I do too sometimes. But since I already seasoned the meat, I'm not going to do both of them. You know, we can always sprinkle a little salt on the top if we need to. So now let me show you how I cut up all this chicken. I had chicken breasts. You can use chicken thighs or chicken breasts. So what I do is now these are cut up super thin. I mean shoestring small. And I'm going to show you. But you don't have to cut yours that thin. You can make yours into bigger pieces for your uh, little party or gathering or whatever you have having. But for us, what I do is this, I don't know if you can see how thick this is. And some of them are even thicker, breast meat. So I do just like this, lay it parallel, take my knife parallel to it and hold my hand on top of the meat. Don't be afraid. Just don't push down real hard. Don't do that because you're going to, uh, cut it too thin and see now I have a thinner piece that's all we don't like thick pieces but if you don't mind thick pieces of um, breast meat that's fine and like this part is a little thick just get that smash it down get you a mallet <laughs> that's those things that when you go bam you know take out your frustrations so anyways then this is what I did Get this real good, Reg. So I take it, I mean, literally, I'm doing a sliver. See how thin that is? That's how my kids like it. You know what's gonna happen? It's gonna come out crunchy. And adults will like this too. My kids are all adults. So, and I like it like this too. I don't like big pieces of breast meat. And I really don't like breast meat. But I get this particular breast meat from Winco. And I don't know what they do to this breast meat in the bag. But you can cook it and cook it and cook it and cook it. <laughs> and it won't be tough. So this is all I did. Just cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. Just thin, make them. See, look, at this one is wider if you like it wide like that. But we like it thinner. So I'm going to cut it in half. And this, I'm telling you, this will be a party pleaser. Because people don't expect chicken fingers to be this thin and crunchy. So let me get these cut up. And then which one, let's see. This one goes into, I think, uh, where did I get this piece of breast meat? It might have been for the, uh, the lemon pepper one. But I'm going to put it in the barbecue. So let me take my gloves off because I want to, I don't want to touch myself. I want to show you just how much I, I seasoned up. I did all the meat, put it all in there. Can I, I'm going to just wash my hands for one more second, Reg. I don't feel right. Let, hold on. Just show them the little meat. I just want to wash my hands a little bit. Just in case, you know, I don't know. Might be a hole in the blood. Sure. Gotta make sure it's, gotta get all that chicken off. Let's 
just not right. Okay, dry my hands. I'm always doing this and then I end up with all this dang on seasoning on my hands. Anyway, what I do is I took a little bit of my seasoning, just a little bit. Look at this. And I just sprinkled it on. See that? Not too much. If you feel like it need a little more, just a little more. It depends on which one you're cooking. The barbecue one, you don't want to put a lot. The lemon pepper, I can put a little more seasoning because it's mainly the lemon pepper. But And then I just mixed it all up in the freezer bag like that. That's all I did. I was up at 3 o'clock this morning. Hello. Cut up this chicken for you all. I said, Lord, have mercy. Look at that. See what I do for y'all? A lot of work. But anyways, I don't mind. I don't, I, ah, let me wash my hands again. I'm going to have to wash my hands and wash my hands again. You know what? I'm about to cook this chicken. So let me go ahead and open it. And put this in here with the lemon pepper. And you can see the difference in the color. Because it's been marinated. Marinating. So you see that? And I mixed it all up. And I closed it up in the freezer bag. This is a freezer bag just like this. I always keep these boxes of freezer bags. And um, that's all I did. I got my barbecue sauce for that one. I'm going to fry all of this up. Got my lemon pepper for that one. Seasonings in that one. And I'm going to go fry. I'm going to fry up these. Start frying this chicken. And we're going to come right back and show you how it's going and how we're going to separate it all so that you have three different kinds of, uh, what are we calling these? Chicken fingers for your party. Ha! All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. I've been frying up this chicken. You can see, look in here, right? That's the lemon chicken that I'm just browning. I cooked all of the chicken. Over here is the barbecue chicken. All I did was put barbecue sauce in the skillet and stir this up like that. Just to coat all the pieces. Then what I'm going to do is put it on this sheet. Can you see this thing? And I'm going to spread it out. Wait a minute. <laughs> mm. All right, cameraman. You all in the way. Can you see it? I'm going to spread these out. All these chicken fingers. Don't they look delicious? I tasted them. They are. And I'm going to put it in the oven for 5 to 10 minutes just to caramelize. So that's done. So here go the barbecue ones. I got my oven already heating up. And those are uh, cooked. The cooked lemon. Uh, lemon chick. Uh, what do we call them? Chicken lemon fingers. Pepper. Oh, yeah. I was going to say lemon peppers. I should call them baby fingers, huh? They're so small. Okay, let me put this on this side because these are ready to come out. I already, and all I, that's all I did with each batch. I cooked them one. I had three bags. One for the lemon pepper that I seasoned with lemon pepper. And what I found out is that lemon pepper has salt in it. So, and I forgot to tell you that I dipped all of the chicken in just plain flour. No batter, nothing like that. Plain flour. And then... Just fry them up till they get brown to where you like them. Because these are so thin, they cook like in minutes. But, um, so see, this is the lemon chicken. It is lemony. It is. Look at that. Can you see those over there, Rich? Or is the pot in the way? No, I can see them. Get all those pieces. And, uh, your guests, I promise you, they will love these little pieces. They like, people like the knickknack on stuff. So, anyways, I'm going to leave that in there for, uh, like I said, five to ten minutes just to get some caramelization on the, that, uh, with that barbecue sauce. I used Sweet Baby Ray's. You don't have to season it or anything, nothing. I don't have to doctor it up. It's so good. And I used a different flavor today. I got the sweet and spicy. And it is sweet and spicy. <laughs> so anyway, that's... Uh, thank God. Last of that chicken. 
So what we gonna do is, you got that ranch. And remember what I said with the barbecue. All I did was put barbecue sauce in here, like I said, Sweet Baby Ray's. And then I poured all the chicken in there and I just started tossing it until it coated all of it. And now, look at me, on the floor. And now, um, we're going to get this all plated up. All the chicken is done. And we'll get right back to you. I want you to see how this looks. All right. Okay, so we're back and we got it all plated up. Right here, I added some potato salad. Get in there, Reg. I, this is our lemon chicken. This is the barbecue. And this is just reg my regular seasonings on the chicken fingers. And then I also made some garlic bread. This one right here has pepper flakes and cheese. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the pepper flake one. And um, I'm gonna get me some mashed potatoes. I just put it in a little, little something, something, you know, make it a little pretty, pretty. Um, And of course, I have my signature drink. Lemonade. That cool, refreshing drink. Wowlers. <laughs> Why you gotta look like that, Ridge? Lemonade and fruit punch. Mm. Y'all sleeping on that. Okay, let me move this out the way. It's ready for somebody's party or gathering. You know what I want to taste first? I've already tasted the chicken, you know that. You gotta taste the food. You hear that crunch? I don't know if you hear the crunch. Mmm. But people like that. See? You don't have to cook it that hard if you don't want to. You know, your teeth may maybe not be able to take that. I know a lady on YouTube, she just had gums. And she was eating some fried chicken. Fried extra crispy. <laughs> and lovely Mimi, Mimi, I think that's her name. She said, I want to see how you gonna eat this chicken. Anyway, this my garlic bread. Mm. And then I made myself a little bit of, you know, some potatoes. Chicken and potatoes go well together. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all taste this red. Red stomach is not maybe, feeling too good. Maybe later. Yeah. But, um, Grease. He's gonna miss out. Oh my God. And then this um barbecue, that's sweet baby braids. I got the sweet and spicy this time. That have a little kick to it, just a little bit. Now, I was wondering what was catching my throat on fire right now. A little bit, but I forgot to put pepper flakes on here. Just a little bit. If you don't, you can't stay in hot food. Just make some um. Anyways, just get some garlic bread out the store. That's all I did. And I put some more butter on it. Sprinkle some cheese on it. Put a little pepper flakes on mine. And that's good. I'm going to eat this up. This is dinner for me. Mm. Nah, no thanks. No <laughs> thanks. I'm trying to give people a face. Mm. Oh, yeah, I thought it was me. No, not mm. for you. Not for you, son. This is good. I'm too gassed up right now. This chicken. You know what? Make any kind of chicken you want. You hear that crunch? Mission accomplished. Hounds, you know, dogs can smell chicken a mile away. Not getting a morsel. Mmm, that's good, Ranch. Actually, this, this is the lemon chicken. Mm. I tasted all of them. It's good. I told you I need some fingernails. Anyways, I'm going to bid you a good day, a good night, a good morning, a good evening, or good next year, wherever you are. <laughs> it's what, October, out here in Cali. Um in the states so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and drink my drink thank you for uh 
any time with us. Thank you for letting me share my recipes with you. What's the matter, Club Club? <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you for uh, just being a, uh, for uh, subscribing. I trust that you are a subscriber. If you're not, welcome to the channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I know I don't even care what you got to say. Try it. Don't knock it till you try it. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Look at this big piece. I missed that one. Hey, still crusty. You know, black people, we dance when we be eating. And it tastes good. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> Until I saw my husband dancing years ago while he was eating, I said, oh my God, it's true. All right, take care. God bless you. We'll see you again on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>